Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy. Today's video, full day of keto, low carb, and some diabetic friendly meals. If this is your first time tuning in, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that when I upload, you'll be the first to know. You'll find keto recipes, grocery hauls, meal plans, meal preps, lots going on over here. I also post on Instagram daily, so make sure you go check me out over there. Facebook group, which is an absolutely amazing group, will be linked below in that description box. If you are looking for support, encouragement, motivation, recipes, that's going to be the place for you. Before we get started, let me mention that several Black Friday deals have started on keto items. Perfect Keto is having a huge one right now. This is always the best time of year to stock up on your Perfect Keto collagen, cookies, bars, MCT oil powder, and lots of different snack options. If you order six or more, you're going to be able to get 50% off of that. Like I said, it'll be linked below for you. Do not miss out on this deal. Order early just in case supply is limited. Take advantage of the deal. Stock up on your collagen. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. I wanna show you how my blood sugar's doing. Before I get up out of bed, I was at 78 this morning, which is good. I had been running higher than I needed to. My doctor wants me to stay under 120 when I wake up. So by the time I get out of bed and my feet hit the floor, I've jumped up to 104. That's without consuming any food whatsoever. It's actually not called the dawn phenomenon in type one diabetics. It's called feet on the floor. As soon as my feet hit the floor, my blood sugar starts going up. It's a little trick that I learned from a few support groups that I joined for type one diabetics. Drinking water helps lower your blood sugar. Now there's a few little things that you can try. Some people suggest taking a hot shower. Some people suggest exercise. And then there's also drinking water. I've tried everything that was suggested. The only thing that helps me is drinking water. Exercise and hot showers make my blood sugar go up. So of course I'm gonna be difficult. So I picked this up over on Amazon. It helps me get in my water. I go ahead and fill this up and then it's got the time increments on the side. That way I know that's where I need to be at that time. They have it available in multiple different colors. I like the fact that it has the handle on it and you can just pop it open right here. It also fits in the cup holder of my car, which is an added bonus. I'll link it below if you guys want to see what it looks like. Good morning. Good morning. Tell everybody hi. Hi, everybody. They've not seen you in ages. Nope, months. It's been forever. You're actually doing what this morning? I'm gonna do a ketones test. Because you did not take one with you this time, did you? I did not. Okay, we use the Keto Mojo. We've talked about it a hundred times. It'll be linked below. It is, I think, the only monitor out there that does ketones and blood sugar. And since that's something that I have to keep up with meticulously now, that's the one I use. And Chris is using it this morning and you're testing ketones first, right? Ketones first. Go for it. There is a new Keto Mojo out. I just had bought up so many strips that I refused to waste them. So we're using our old ones first. 0 0.4, that's not bad. He had this look of defeat on his face when it popped up. It's okay. Yes, but you know that I always like to have mine at a point eight or one I know, but you've been out of town, you've been traveling, you've been trying to get home. Even though you've been doing keto, it doesn't matter. Everything affects that. What was your blood sugar this morning? 105, and there's a haircut coming sometimes. <laughs> I know, so. Bradley's been telling him he has a mullet. Turn yeah. to the side, turn to the side, let's see the mullet. Oh, look at the mullet. Chris has got a mullet. She was taking pictures of me the other night and posted them on TikTok. No, Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> of your mullet. It's yeah. okay. You'll get a haircut coming. Okay, we will see you in a second. Chris is starting his morning off with coffee. All he does is put one of the Kahlua K-Cups in. This is his favorite K-Cup of coffee. Then he adds a scoop of perfect keto collagen. This morning he went with the salted caramel because the skinny syrup that he's using is the chocolate caramel truffle. That's what the collagen looks like right on top. And then we take our little milk frother and mix that completely up. If you are in the Facebook group, you know that I posted these this weekend. 
because they had these marked down at 50%. If they're still 50%, I'll link those in the description box if any of you guys want to pick the milk frothers up. They were around $7. They had multiple different colors. We already have like two or three. I picked up an extra one because I thought it would make a great gift. Frying up some eggs for breakfast this morning. I wanted you to see what I was using. And you're gonna have to excuse the dishwasher because it is going already this morning. But I found this at Aldi. It was in my recent grocery haul. It was extra virgin olive oil that is infused with chilies. You can see peppers in here. Chris loves spicy. So normally I do our eggs with butter. But this morning, I'm using the chili infused extra virgin olive oil blend. Adding some pink salt to that. This is what Chris's breakfast looks like. Three eggs, fried. I did add some of the Fiesta blend cheese. Let that melt over top. Then added a little bit of the sriracha sauce with jalapenos and four pieces of bacon. To drink, he wanted a bang. This one is Bangster Berry. I'm gonna be dirty fasting today and I'm having something I've not had in a long time and it's the Peach Mango Bang Energy Drink. After I've got this consumed, we're gonna check my blood glucose and we're gonna see if it affected me. Looking good guys, only went up 10 from the Bang Energy Drink. I can take that. 10 points, not a blood glucose spike for me. noon check-in on my water look i'm ahead of schedule once i finish this i refill it and then i just make sure every hour on the hour i'm caught up to where i need to be blood sugar check before i eat i'm at 86 definitely time for a meal air fryer chicken nuggets these are so simple if you've not made them yet you are missing out you're going to need one can of chicken breast meat i picked this up at sam's and this one is going to be the 12.5 ounce drain it completely so that there's no liquid left in it. Then you're also gonna need one and a half cups of shredded cheese. I like to use a blend of cheeses. I'm using the Fiesta blend today and some of the mozzarella. One beaten egg, also add in some pink salt and a little bit of garlic powder. Garlic powder is optional. You can add whatever seasonings you want. Mix this together until you've got like a ground chicken consistency. Once you have that done, go ahead and line your air fryer basket with parchment paper. I picked up this. This is the individual pieces that fit perfectly into my Kasori off of Amazon. I'll link it below as well as my Kasori. You know I love my air fryer. Go ahead and pat these out into little nugget shapes. There's what they look like all patted out. This isn't all of them. I probably have enough mixture left for about three or four more. I'm gonna put these in the air fryer at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes, but just know, Everybody's air fryer's different. Make sure you check on these halfway mark. Oh, they're looking good, but I like them a little bit crispier, so let's keep going. There they are, nice and crispy, just the way I like them. To dip, I'm having some of the G Hughes sugar-free famous cluckin' sauce. This stuff is delicious. So the plan is eat my six chicken nuggets and then go in for dessert. This is the pumpkin chia seed pudding. You guys keep asking what's in it. I don't do any measurements. Basically, it's just chia seeds, unsweetened almond milk, some sweetener of choice, whatever your favorite is. Pumpkin, I put 100% pumpkin in it, usually about a tablespoon or two. And then pumpkin pie spice, mix it all together, refrigerate at least 30 minutes, boom, there you go. And then on top of that, I add some of the Great Value Sugar-Free Whipped Heavy Cream. I'm not kidding when I say I eat this every single day. And to drink, I am working on my water. You can see that I'm getting close to the four o'clock mark. I'm ahead of myself today, I'm proud. Serious question. How many times do you all run your dishwasher every single day? Because ours runs continually, it feels like, especially when we're all here. Yeah, for like two hours straight. I know, and it runs forever. It drives me crazy. But welcome to today's Sip and Chat. I'm having water. What are you having? Iced coffee. Oh, I didn't show you making that, but that's the iced coffee that I pick up at Fresh Market. It is concentrated and it is going to be the cool brew, I believe. I've shown it in several grocery hauls. I absolutely adore it. I do now. I know. In the last grocery haul, I picked up four because I knew Chris was coming home and he was going to love it. And he does. So I'm going to have to start stocking up on it. Oh, guess who's back? 
I'm back. <laughs> Chris just got home this past weekend. You have been in New York working for how long now? Um, four months. Four months? Whew, that was a long time. A lot's happened in those four months. It has. So let's talk about weight. How has your weight gone since you have been out of town? Uh, up, down, or you? That went up. Why? Why do you think you went up? Less activity. Oh. I still ate keto foods, but you know, there was just less activity. So do you have a plan going into the holidays, or do you just want it to be a free-for-all and forget about it this holiday season? No, I have a plan. I'm planning on trying to get back to my original weight I was before I left. Which was? 188 was the last time I believe I weighed it. So I've got 10 pounds to go. So you're at 198 right now? I am. You plan on being there by the first of the year, by Christmas? What's, what's the deal? Back by the first of the year, because I'm actually starting to work out and stuff now. I went this morning and worked out, so. Well. So how do you plan on getting back to your fighting weight, that goal weight? <laughs> your goal weight was 185, though, and the closest it you'd was. ever got was 188. So how do you plan on getting there? Are you, do just, you, have, you even, have you even got there yet, or you just set that as your goal? You've not laid I, out a plan yet? I've just set it as my goal right now. I don't know exactly for sure. I'm going to just start working out. It'll be more active because I you know, can get outside, do stuff. Go metal detecting, whatever it be. I'm not, you know, to bed, work, and eat, and that's it. So just getting out and actually being in the sunlight will be great. Do you want a tip from me? Sure. Count your carbs. Okay. I'm horrible at that, though. Yeah. He horrible. does not count his carbs. He's doing lazy keto, and he's guesstimating. And when you guesstimate, you always guesstimate low. No guesstimating. If you're in a weight loss stall or you're starting to slowly gain and you're doing lazy keto, count your carbs. You need to track. And Just get a post-it note. Just get a post-it note. Yep. Scribble it on there. Pull up the notes on your phone. Just enter it every time you eat something. That's the only way it works for me. I have to write it down or it just I forget it. So Yeah. So track your carbs. And let me say this, with it being a holiday week, Thanksgiving is just a couple of minutes away at this point. True. Don't be hard on yourself. If you're going off plan for Thanksgiving, it is one meal. It is one day. Just do it. I'm a firm believer that you don't have to stay low carb keto 100% of the time. And especially now, knowing what I know and being diagnosed as a type one diabetic, if I could go back and change some things like have that piece of cake or have that roll or whatever it may be, I would definitely do it because now that's not an option for me. Now I'm not saying it won't be in the future, but I'm still struggling to figure out my dosage. So for this holiday season, that's not going to be an option for me. I will not be going off plan. So do you, plan on going off plan during Thanksgiving? Or are you sticking no, keto? I'm staying on plan. So we don't have any idea what to talk about. Seriously, we just took like a 15 minute break trying to figure out what to discuss. If you have any questions, if you have anything you want us to discuss in the next sip and chat, make sure you put it in the comments. Chris will write them down. That way we'll have them next time. But we just feel a little like off track. We've not done this in so long. Right. I don't have any idea what to say, other than the fact that don't forget that the Perfect Keto Black Friday sale is going on right now, where if you buy six or more items, you're gonna save 50% off your total. If I have any more Black Friday deals on keto items or products, I'll have those linked in the description box for you. That way you guys can save some money. Ooh, my favorite deal. <laughs> the Black Friday Perfect Keto deal. He loves Perfect Keto. What's your favorite collagen flavor? Strawberry. I do too. I love strawberry. The strawberry goes with everything. I don't know picture. about coffee. Would it go with no, coffee? No. It'd probably go in a frappuccino. Yes. But I don't know about a coffee. I use the, use the chocolate for my coffee and I use the strawberry for my keto chows and everything because they just give it, they're just a great flavor to it. I like the peanut butter too. Oh yeah. And I love the Nola bars. You guys already know that. The Nola bars, the peanut butter one is just like a payday. The peanut butter cookies are like a soft batch, yummy, delicious cookie. They have so many things. So stock up for the year if you've not. <laughs> I have got some amazing recipes planned for you guys that are coming up that are going to be low carb, keto, clean keto, 
diabetic friendly. So make sure you check the recipes. And did you guys try the stuffed bagels yet? You tried them <laughs> yes. since you've been home. Thoughts? Delicious. I love the jelly filled one. So yeah, <laughs> I think I saved him two. Yeah. That was it. And, and I made I'll, a dozen. I'll be here for the taste testing. So Yeah. And there's so many things you can do with those. Remember to go check out that recipe. It is so versatile. You're going to love it. I promise you. I will link it up in the cards and down below. And for Thanksgiving, I guess dessert, we're going to be making the puffins, which are pumpkin pie muffins. And you'll get to finally try those. They're so good. And I'll have those linked down in the description box for y'all. But I have no idea what to talk about. So we're going to go. <laughs> and I guess we'll see you as we eat as the day goes on. Okay. We'll see you in a sec. Bye. It's six o'clock, so I'm going in with six units of Traceba. This is my long-lasting insulin, and I take it every 24 hours now. I'm going to be trying the Egg Life's Everything Bagel Egg White Wraps tonight for dinner. I've thrown one in the pan to heat it up, but I think I might just make an omelet with it. I, I have no idea what to do. None whatsoever. Heated up the wrap. I went ahead and scrambled up two eggs, and I've got those in a pan. And now to the wrap, I'm gonna add some whipped cream cheese. Gonna add some pink salt to that. Added my egg, and now I'm just gonna roll this up. Along with that, I'm gonna have a keto ratio yogurt in strawberry, love these. And I'm also having half of a Pepsi Zero Sugar. I had the other half yesterday. Seriously, people, I am struggling to find foods that don't spike my blood glucose since I have found out I am a type one diabetic. My main goal is to stay off of fast acting insulin as long as possible. So to stay low carb and eat foods that don't spike me. And it has just been trial and error at this point. Don't get me wrong, I have no issue taking my insulin, my long lasting for sure, because it works for an extended period of time, keeping my blood sugar levels down. But as long as I can stay off of fast acting insulin, if I can do that and I can control that by the foods I'm consuming, that's the plan. And that's just for me. It was a plan that me and my doctor came up with. So check with yours before you do anything like that. And just so you know, I have a full mouth. I am chewing. But these, everything bagel, egg life wraps, delicious. Look what I was finally able to find at my Walmart. They actually have several new varieties of the Slim Fast Keto Fat Bombs out. This is the only one that's finally made it to my store. There are 12 in a box and I think it's like $9.99. This one, cookies and cream. It's just snack cup and it's stuffed. I went ahead and cut it open. This is what it looks like on the inside. Not so much that. So I'm not sure if maybe this one melted because there is some on the bottom. Maybe that's what happened in transport. Just a heads up, if you've got taste buds like Chris, he loves these. Also recently found these at Walmart, the Duncan Hines Chewy Fudge Brownies. They are keto and three net carbs a serving if you make the entire box. But I saw where a lot of people on TikTok were making chaffles with these and I thought, why not just make a mug brownie? Yeah, why not go ahead and add both of these together? Went ahead and emptied the brownie mix out. It has big chocolate chips in this and it smells heavenly. In a bowl, added three tablespoons of the brownie mix, one tablespoon of sour cream, and one egg white. Mix it together. Take a ramekin or a mug and go ahead and spray that down with some olive oil spray. You want to get it coated so the brownie doesn't stick. Now, I'm not going to use the entire Slim Vice Keto Fat Bomb, the cookies and cream. I'm going to use half and I'm going to stick it in the middle of my brownie mixture. And then I'm gonna cover the top of that up. Into the microwave. I left mine in the microwave about one minute. Everyone's microwave's different. Yours may take a little bit longer, but do you see that white chocolate oozing out? Well, let's cut into this and see how it looks. Look over me. I'm already ready for bed. Okay, most importantly, 
How does it taste? Now, if you've got Cool Whip, if you have some keto-friendly ice cream, you got the carbs to spare, go for it. Mm. Mm. We need to get Chris's opinion. He's upstairs in the girls' room, but I told him he needs to come down and get a bite of this before it's all gone because I don't think I want to check my sugar after trying this. This is so easy. Just so you know though, I ate half. I'm gonna give Chris the other half. Now you've already had a snack tonight. You had one of the keto fat bombs, the new ones that we just found at Walmart, right? Yes, the okay. cookies and cream. That is a brownie and I stuffed half of one of those in that. So taste it and tell me what you think. Really? Mm -hmm. You could do so many other things with this brownie though. If you want to put one of the peanut butter ones in it, maybe one of the caramel cluster ones. It's really good. A real good brownie flavor to it. I like it. It's not eggy at all, is it? It's not eggy. You can't even taste egg in it. I don't. But Did I, you? No, but I think that's because it's the Duncan Hines mix. That's what it is. It's the Duncan Hines mix with an egg white, some sour cream, and then half of one of those fat bombs. I think it tastes delicious. Would you eat it again? Oh yeah, definitely. With something different in it, just to see how it tasted. Something peanut buttery, I'm sure. Oh, absolutely. <sighs> Because I always keep it real with you guys. I'm going to be honest. It is 9 o'clock and check it out. I started stalling at about 6 o'clock and I have not finished my water yet. So I'm going to finish this before I go to bed. I may be up all night. But once I finish it, it's going to mean that I got in 64 ounces of water today. about 10 o'clock and I've still not made it to bed yet, but I'm getting ready to. I'm finishing a video, but I just checked my blood sugar and it is under 100. I don't like to go to bed when my blood sugar is under 100 and has the down arrow, so I get a snack. I'm going to have one of the chocolate Catalina Crunch cookies. They're like little Oreos. I top that with some peanut butter. A few cashews. I have no idea why, but cashews makes my blood sugar go up. And then I'm also going to have some Duke's Shorty sausages. I'm starting to slowly figure out some of the things that make my blood sugar go up so that I don't have to consume a ton of carbs. Cashews, peanut butters, and this cookie right here should help me get it up at least 20, 30 points so that I don't have to worry about a 3 to 6 a.m. drop. Oh yeah, and I wanted to mention, I finished my water. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I will see you in the next one and I hope everyone has an amazing week.